Back on the Young Turks, Jenk and Wes with you today. And uh, we brought in a, a comedian that I'm very fond of, Andy Cobb. Yeah, and he's coming to the studio today. Andy, thanks for coming in. We really Thanks for having it. me, guys. And uh, Andy's put together a video on David Bitter. Very serious video, and I need you to take it seriously, okay? Uh, we're going to watch it first, and then we'll come back and talk to Andy about it. There's a number to dial when you have a question for an American hero. We're a better country today because he took a stand. David Bitter. David Bitter. David Bitter took on Acorn. Acorn. That crazy interaction with prostitutes. That guy knows the deal. Because David Bitter, that's a man who knows how to talk to prostitutes. Acorn is under attack, and Senator Bitter is leading the charge condemning their prostitute-related tax advice. And Senator Bitter really knows his prostitutes. Wow, he's a real expert on congressman prostitute relations. So we're telling America, don't just direct partisan inspired prostitute tax questions at Acorn. Talk to a real prostitution authority. Allow me to demonstrate. The experience David Bitter took a lifetime to absorb is available to you now. It's all yours, all free, and just a phone call away. Pour the experience into the senator. Not even a little bit leaks out. That's knowledge you can use. Call now. Ask all your questions like, how should a transaction with a prostitute be reported on your taxes? What if you're a U.S. senator, a married U.S. senator? Does that affect your hooker-related deductions? Okay, let's say you're a totally married U.S. senator who, when engaged in prostitution, likes to, how you say, order way off the menu with super special sexy wardrobe accoutrements. How would you itemize? Nice purchases associated with your uber freaky sex. Right on the butt slide. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, it's going so well. transactions. Depends. Senator. Oh, depends. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're having issues with our video today. All right, but you got the gist of it. That was most of it anyway. Most of it, absolutely. So, Andy, that's funny stuff. So, um... Now, why the acorn bitter connection? How do they connect with prostitutes? You know, it's it's uh, it's a good question because it's really not about the prostitutes. I think you know we can talk about David Bitter and prostitutes all day, and certainly that's a worthwhile topic. But it's really you know I, I don't think anyone would uh, would fault a senator for his prostitutes. As a matter of fact, I would say let's get them prostitutes. They need to be relaxed if they're going to make policy decisions. If you're going to have sex, might as well do it. Uh, we could call it the pubic option. Uh, it's a chance for senators to uh, relieve their stress. That's not the issue, but the issue is hypocrisy. And uh, it strikes David Vitter on a couple of different levels to me, is that he's accusing Acorn of having these interactions, inappropriate interactions with prostitutes. And who should know better about inappropriate interactions with prostitutes than Senator David Vitter? But, Andy, the funny thing is that uh, Vitter's uh, accusing Acorn have uh, wrong interactions with fake prostitutes. Absolutely, right. absolutely. Okay, now, so would it have been better if it was real prostitutes, like the interactions he had? Well, you know, uh, it's it's a really good question, and I actually, uh, I don't know where that ethical line is, but I know it's there somewhere. Uh, surely, if you're interacting with a fake prostitute, that is a lesser crime than interacting with a real prostitute. And then what you do with a prostitute is your business. Uh, Acorn certainly uh, consulted them on some sort of tax-related issues. Uh, if you were to take it a step further and actually make some uh, prop or wardrobe purchases as a result of your interactions with a prostitute, how do you itemize that uh, as a deduction? Uh, wh what is the role of, uh, of these props that David Vitter may or may not have, all depends, if you will, uh, uh, may or may not involve himself with prostitutes? What, what is the role there of taxes? So, so there's so many ethical lines here. I think David Vitter should absolutely address these in some sort of public manner. Now, here's the thing, right? So uh, his hypocrisy is obviously through the roof. I, that diaper stuff, honestly, never got proven in my mind. Absolutely not. Okay, but, uh, but the D.C. madam, he admitted. There's no question. He was with a real prostitute. Wes, I want to ask you real quick. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean what? I'm an expert on prostitutes? <laughs> no. uh, more of a consultant. More of a consultant. <laughs> so, I mean, no, but what are we supposed to do with David Bitter? I mean, here's this guy who, this, I mean, he's quote unquote breaking the law. I don't care about that law, right? But he comes back, gets a standing ovation. Now he has the gall to be the number one senator going after Acorn for having deals with, dealings with fake prostitutes. I mean, what, but is there any recourse? Or that's what, just, do you, what do you mean? What do you see as the problem in this? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what, what? Just you know your regular Republican hypocrisy, and you're 100 percent used to it, and that's like no. This, look, people have this; they've got a huge blind spot, and there's nothing you can really do to illuminate it for them. You're like, yeah, but he went to prostitutes. They'll be like, well, you know, sometimes people sin. You but know, he's fighting for God. 
<laughs> it's a good point, Wes. I'll tell you that there is, there is one thing that I think people can do about it, and that is actually dial David Vitter's office number and just ask him, uh, you know, straight up, do you, do you or your age want to talk to me about, and just tell us everything that you know about I'm prostitutes. trying to negotiate a deal right now. What should I do? Should it be 20% up front, 30% up front? When do I pay? What's a reasonable price? What's a good way to interact? What is the protocol? So clearly, he didn't like the way that Acorn went about the prostitute no. relations. He had issues with that. So do tell. What is the proper uh, manner to deal with a uh, hooker transaction? See, Andy makes a great point there because uh, that when you um, – Do we have David Vitter's number? Absolutely. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was in the video. That was the real number for David Vitter, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so if you w watch Andy's video, and uh, he's, you can go to his website, andycobonline.com, andycobonline.com. That's his real number, and you should ask him because he says Acorn handled it wrong, right? So how do you handle it right? It's a very fair question, and Let's Vitter would know. Talk By to an expert. Acorn handled it wrong because there was no sex involved. So that's, that was the first problem right there. Uh, first of all, much less joyful transaction. Than, uh, <laughs> much less joyful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So, and there it is, 202-224-4623. Call up Congressman Vitter's office and ask him, how do I properly handle a prostitute? Uh, because I know Acorn did it wrong and Senator Vitter did it right. And I'll tell you what, uh, I, I've made that call, and I know uh, many people have. They've left a lot of comments on the video and whatnot. And you may or may not get the answers you're looking for. I can't promise that, but I will pr promise that you will feel better after the call. If you're upset about prostitution, hypocrisy, uh, the issue of uh, uh, same-sex marriage, which David Vitter opposes because he's so uh, adamant about defending marriage, you'll feel better about all these issues once you ask him about his prostitution knowledge. God, the sex stuff always just drives me crazy with these people. <laughs> always, always. Just, right. en just enjoy it. Like, don't get all down on people about it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're telling the Republican Party. That's what they do. Stop getting they, so upset. They get down on people for it as they're enjoying it. <laughs> Sad. It's, it's the great hypocrisy. All right, Andy Cobb, thank you so much for coming in. Everybody check out andycobbonline.com.